Hello! So you may know why I'm wearing this scarf if you come from my main channel. I just unboxed a Guardians of the Galaxy Collector's Court box and it was really fun and came with this amazing scarf. I highly recommend you check out that video if you haven't already after this video, link down below. But right now, we're going to be unboxing the latest loot crate, the Galaxy loot crate. This little white thing is where my address was stuck on. That's why there's that. They haven't changed their box style. Calm down. So unboxing the loot crate, last time I did this I called it Unboxing the Galaxy Secrets. Which sounded really fun, but like, no one watched it. <laughs> so straight in, there's like... Interesting box style. That's, that's interesting. There's a t-shirt, so let's have a look. Ah, oh, it's like a... Okay, it's a Christmas t-shirt. Christmas has passed. I've missed the chance to wear this. I don't know, is it like... It's not Space Invaders. It's like all sorts of spacey things. Looks, I was about to say Space Invaders, but it isn't Space Invaders, but it looks really cool. And there's, is that a satellite or is that a giant, like, camcorder? It looks like a camcorder. Or is that just like a massive gun? Who who can know these things? This is odd. Okay, next thing in the loot crate is a metal tin. <laughs> okay, and, and then, then you've got some other things. So I've got a Galaxy Quest. Official certified replica of Galaxy Quest. I watched Galaxy Quest this year with Jamie for the first time. Um, Cause it wasn't really a thing that I'd watched growing up, but it was a really fun little movie to watch. I highly recommend watching it if you're into that sort of stuff. And here's a replica pin badge. Like I could sew this onto something along with my Guardians of the Galaxy collector's court badge. And ah, oh, you can start a collection. That's so fun. And of course we got the Loot Crate magazine, which I can't look at just yet because it will contain spoilers for what this Loot Crate is. And ah, oh, and the Loot Crate pin, which is gold this month rather than a traditional orange. Maybe it's just special. So let's take a look inside this Halo 5 tin. I'm sure it's Halo 5 reading that. I didn't realise immediately from the logo, but I should have realised. I feel really bad about that. Halo 5 tin, which actually feels quite weighted, so I'm assuming there's something inside. Halo 5 goodie, maybe? No! Okay! 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 There's two things in here that I saw immediately that look really cool. One of them's a Pop Funko, and I'm like, as you can probably guess. One of them is a pair of socks, which you like, what the hell are you getting interest over socks? Because they're BB-8 socks. These, these are BB-8 socks. Like, oh man, if you've seen Star Wars The Force Awakens, you will know BB-8 is a full-on dude. He's a, he's awesome, and I'm just gonna just, just look at the socks. Oh man, okay. You can actually walk around with BB-8 on your foot. That's, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh man, okay, they're, they're good socks. And then, the Pop Funko is a Han Solo snow gear, which is so cool. That's amazing, it's a Loot Crate exclusive Han Solo in his snow gear, and I'm gonna give this to Jamie Jo, because since watching Star Wars The Force Awakens, she keeps watching Harrison Ford things, so she's a big fan of Harrison Ford again, suddenly. It's a nice, there's something inside the box. This is different, okay. Um, there's a red thing inside it, there's a, oh that's cool, it's like a backdrop to the, Funko. I didn't realise they did backdrops for the Funkos, but that's a really nice little touch, especially for if you want to keep it in the box. It sort of gives it a nice little colour background. That's a nice little touch. And solo across the universe on the Star Trek and the post, not that right song. I don't collect Star Wars ones, but I mean, good gift for Jamie Joe. <laughs> that was a really good loot crate. I mean, they're always good loot crates when they have Pop Funkos in them. I might be a little biased here, but I mean, they've done some really good Pop Funkos. They had this one, they've had Dr. Emmett Brown for the Back to the Future time travel one. They've had a Joker Batman. They had a glow in the dark Groot with a glow in the dark hand that looked really cool. They've just done some really good Pop Funkos in these. So, I would advise you keep an eye on the Loot Crate Twitter to find out when they're going to be doing Pop Funkos. Also keep an eye on my Twitter because I do go crazy whenever they have them. And if you're interested in them, subscribe then. Or subscribe now if you're interested in the sort of other things that are in them. You can subscribe at LootCrate.com slash Tom Burns and use the discount code Tom Burns for 10% off because, you know, you get a discount. So that's fun. And make sure you check out the next one, which I believe is called Invasion. So it's like Fifth Element and Space Invaders and stuff. So I'm really excited to open that one. Until then, make sure you like and subscribe for more unboxing videos. And I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you